नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट इज आर्किटेक्चरल स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड व्यूज नाउ इन दिस आर्किटेक्चरल स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड व्यूज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू डिफाइन द स्ट्रक्चरल सेट ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स नाउ द बेसिकली द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स विच इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर और हार्डवेयर द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इन द आर्किटेक्चर is that whatever the elements that are being taken it need to represent it in the form of view that means the view refers that whatever the architecture that is being represented that need to be clearly understandable it need to be clearly read by the corresponding stakeholders now the structure it shows the relationship in the relationship that it identifies that how the process flow that has been taken place now basically this architectural structures are classified into three types one is modular structures component connector structures allocation structures these three types are being defined coming to the modular structures coming to the modular structures the first and the foremost point is that it need to have the units of implementation now where we define the unit the unit is being defined on the basis of code that means what are the different kinds of modules that are being existed in the application and how the corresponding modules that are being executed that it is being referred with the code only that it is being represented with code only the next one is in the modular structures we will definitely show the functional responsibilities that means what are the different components that are being interacted with each other in the development of application next while developing these kind of structures we need to answer a number of questions that each and every module it shows certain results now the results are in a such a way that whether these are under the satisfactory state or not whether if it is in the satisfactory state that means the responsibility which has been commenced to develop the application is proper in nature else else we need to rectify the corresponding modules next one the modules which are being defined in the structure they need to be specialized or generalized that means if we show the corresponding modules as a generalized one automatically these modules can be accessed like a template in the to the current application or to the all uh, exist other applications also next components and connectors now in the components and connectors as we said before that it the elements which are being showing the transformation of the control in run time in run time and this components and connectors it acts like a communicator between one interface to the other interface now the components and the connectors they will be helpful in identifying and executing in major applications the components and the connectors it also show the data where data store or the database where are data which need to be stored and it also shows that how our data is being placed in the databases now this particular components and connectors it also shows the data progress that means whether the data that is being processed in serial or parallel in nature that means if a number of modules that are being accessed simultaneously 
and the data that need to be represented through the corresponding modules now they need to be accessed in parallel if it is in a serial way that means one module which is being connected to the other module that means the output of one module will be the input to the next module and we will be observing the result in a serialized way if you see here in general the three kinds of software structures like module structure component and connector structure and allocation which further being broadly classified into the following ways in the module which consists of decomposition class uses and layered and in the component and connectors which represent with client server concurrency process and shared data and in allocation which it represents with work assignment deployment and implementation now decompositional state refers to that the module which is being further classified into the set of sub modules which we define with the decomposition till the least state of decomposition the module need to be done in up next when representing the set of modules we need to identify that what is the usage of the particular module now while decomposing the module we need to make sure make the decompositional process in a layered manner next thing is that in the module we the modules that need to be represented with classes as we go for a object orientedness as we go through the object orientedness next one is components and connector now in the component and connectors we represent with client server now the communication that need to be taken place is defined in the form of client server and this component and connectors they show the parallel processing system that means concurrency and it also shows that how the corresponding data that is being processed it also shows that the components and the connectors show that the data which is being processed which is a shared data or not next one is the allocational structures in the allocational structures whatever that we have been defined in the modular structures and the component structures that it is being defined like the work assignment the categorization of the modules and how the module that is being working at and deployment after completion of the corresponding work assignment process now the total system is being deployed in certain servers how this particular deployment or the work assignment that is being done is through the implementation of code 